I guess when I when I looked at the tourists, I, there were things that I was seeing that real that surprised me in some, to some extent, and I think partly because I had spent so much time with the Methodists. <laughs> um, so again, the, the interest in theater. Um, one young woman who went she from she was from Guelph, um, from a quote unquote respectable middle class family. She went to England in the late 1860s to carve out a career for herself as a writer and she stayed with family members there so of course that would have helped and then she ended up being working as a governess for some uh, point in I think it was in Germany and she wrote to her parents in Guelph about how much she was drinking every night with her aunt and uncle and that she was going to bed drunk and waking up with a you know a hangover and I thought what what is this? and I thought well because you've spent an awful lot of time with the Methodists and particularly in Toronto I think too if you look at different cities in you know even in in Ontario or Quebec um, Anglophone culture looks a little bit different for example the you know, the folks in in uh, in Montreal or in places where um, say people were members of the Anglican Church and that is something that I find explaining to my students that these denominations actually made a difference um, that being an Anglican could mean yes that you were you know very you know you did not go to balls you did not have that that kind of so you know your social life revolved around the church um, or certain kinds of voluntary organizations but in some cases going to balls dancing I mean this is how you met your future marriage partners and, um, and sort of in, and enjoying and enjoying things that we would think they you know that they would shun was 